The president of the Crime Prevention Research Center tells One American News that he is paying attention to one important Supreme Court case that could determine how courts can treat gun rights in civil matters. John Hines has more from Washington. In the current session of the U.S. Supreme Court, it will take up a Second Amendment case called the U.S. versus Rahimi, in which it will determine how rights of Second Amendment individuals may be limited or if they can be limited. And someone who has, of course, filed an amicus brief in this case is Dr. John Lott of the Crime Prevention Research Center. Dr. Lott, what is the thrust of your amicus brief in this Supreme Court case? Well, the main issue is kind of what level of proof and evidence do you have to have in order to take away somebody's ability to go and have a gun for self-defense? Uh, traditionally, it's been uh, the courts, when they've looked at this, have looked at people who are felons, uh, who have criminal records. And, uh, you know, there's been some debate about whether it should be for violent felons or for all felons. Uh, generally, the courts have said for all felons. But in this case, we're talking about a civil uh, involvement. And so the difference is that for a criminal case, you have to have beyond a reasonable doubt. So you're like 98 percent certain that the person is actually guilty of the crime that uh, they're being accused of. In civil cases, it's a very different level of proof, 51 percent versus 49 percent or 50.1 versus 49.9, you know, just more likely than not that the person actually has has done something wrong. And so that's, I think, the crux of what uh, the, the courts are looking at right now. In this case, as I understand, the, as I understand this particular case, uh, an individual had a restraining order against, I guess, a, a significant other, a, a, I'm not sure if it was a wife or a girlfriend. And uh, sure. then with regard to his, uh, he wanted to have be able to use a gun, and uh, I think that he was uh, restricted from that, and so now the case is before the court. And what what is your research revealed, sir? What happened was, though, he had a girlfriend who he had beaten up, you know, kind of well after he had committed all sorts of other violent crimes, uh, who went and got a restraining order. There was no hearing that had occurred. Uh, it was based, and as I say, it was handled as purely a civil case that was there. And so the judge, and, and he may have very well been very guilty of, uh, of this, but the judge just needed the preponderance of the evidence. Did the woman's claim, did it look credible to him? And, uh, and so he was banned from having a gun. And so it's an empirical question what happens uh, to the rates of these types of crimes when you you know, if you have a felony, if you have a criminal type standard for taking away people's guns, or you have a civil standard. And what we find is that there's really no statistically significant evidence of any benefits in terms of uh, uh, any type of crime uh, in, in terms of these civil standards for taking away somebody's right to have a gun. So, Dr. Lott, based on your amicus brief for the Supreme Court, in this case, U.S. versus Rahimi, if, uh, if the justices took the advice or the recommendation in your brief, how, how would they rule based on the evidence that you prevented, presented in your amicus brief? The way I think that they would come down then would be to say, look, it's one thing to take away somebody's rights to have a gun if they're a criminal, if they've been convicted of a criminal offense. Uh, because there we have high standards for whether or not, you know, if somebody's a violent felon, for example, and they've been convicted beyond a reasonable doubt, there's a good chance that they could be a risk to others that are there. But if you're talking about somebody with just 50.1 percent of the evidence may be in favor of them being guilty of that, it's a much lower standard. And I don't think the empirical evidence is, shows that you're going to be making people really safer on net. Dr. John Lott of the Crime Prevention Research Center talking about an amicus brief that he has filed in a Supreme Court case, Second Amendment Supreme Court case, called U.S. versus Rahimi to be decided in this session. Sir, thank you very much for talking to us at One American News. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much, John.